Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and in this one we're going to be showing you how you can properly lubricate your engine. Just felt like maybe I should show you how you can properly lubricate it because that's what I'm going to be doing before I finish putting it together and a uh, video of the new engine should be out by hopefully Monday or Tuesday of next week but that's just me speculating but as you can see we have it's a two-cylinder so yeah um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to properly lubricate your vacuum engine let's get into it what we're going to need is going to be your lubricant now one of the things that you always need to think about when you're making your engine is what type of lubricant you want to use typically you can use anything that you have that can be used as a lubricant um, this can be WD-40 which is not recommended personally by me solely because it's an oil-based um, lubricant and it can hurt your engine in the long term um, you also have olive oil and vegetable oil so what I'm going to be using is olive oil, and there's a lot of other things you can use. There you can Vaseline and a bunch of other stuff. And to apply it, we're going to use a syringe. Um, it could be any syringe, really. Or you can also use a Q-tip. So I'm going to show you how you can properly lubricate it. First of all, you're going to want to identify which of the cylinder walls you need to lubricate. So, usually, even if it's um, smooth cylinder wall pieces, you usually want to lubricate them because the engine, as you can see, is pretty noisy despite um, not running, really, and having smooth cylinder wall pieces. Mm -hmm. So, if you use purely bricks for your cylinder walls, you're going to want to lubricate those. Or, like I've said in previous videos, sand them down and then lubricate them to make the best possible outcome so you're going to lubricate brick walls like these and you can also lube these smooth walls and i'll show you how to do that as well first of all what you're going to want to do is get your olive oil and your syringe or your q-tip and you're going to fill slash dampen the thing to be able to apply it so what you want to do at this point is like i said fill up your syringe with the um olive oil and you're basically just going to gently apply it to the surface as you can see it's going on really nice that's about all you need. You probably can't see it, but I'll get a better angle. Do the same for the other cylinder wall as well. Just like that. So now, this is what you should have. Both walls have olive oil on them. So yeah. Now as for the smoother pieces, as you can see here, you might want to use a q-tip because it's easier to apply just by rubbing it so i'm going to do that a little bit of olive oil on the q-tip and just rub it across like this on the piece all the way just like this Just like that. So you want to do this with all of your smooth cylinder wall pieces. As you can see, I have a I have a lot. But like I said, just apply them with the Q tip very gently, and you don't really need a lot. So as you can see, these are all the cylinder wall pieces. They have all been lubricated accordingly. And like I said, you don't need a lot of this stuff. I know this looks like a lot on the camera, but it really is a very, very thin layer. The thing I should mention is that you need to apply them quickly so that the olive oil does not 
drip down out of the cylinders. So just reapply them and I'll tell you the next step. Your hands are probably going to get a little bit greasy, but that's going to be natural as, like I said, we're dealing with um, oil here. So don't be alarmed. You're not going to get hurt. It's completely fine. As you can see, we have applied the oil. So it's going to run a little bit stiff, but trust me, is when we break it in, which is going to be what we're going to do next, it should run a lot smoother. Break in the oil. So this is a very simple process. All you need to do is attach a gear to the end here. And you don't have to necessarily use a motor, but that's just what I'm gonna be doing doing for the sake of the video to make it quicker so basically you're just going to use the motor and spin it you can also use your hand not what i would generally do but it's an option so basically we're just going to run in the oil So yeah, um, you don't have to do that for too long, just enough to let it sit and really get meshed up. Now there's going to, if you have any excess, it'll probably sit on the piston. It's all right though, you can always clean your legos. But there you go. Um, now you have successfully lubricated the cylinders of your engine. So as you can see, once we have completed the lubrication process, the engine spins more freely and is a lot quieter compared to what it was before. So the benefits of using the oil is obviously to reduce wear on your cylinders and also allow for higher speed. So anyway, um, that's going to do it for this one and I hope you did enjoy. If you learned something and you want to see more of this content in the near future, please don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment. It would be greatly appreciated. And I always read the comments if there are questions that need answering. So anyway, that's all for today. And I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you later.